Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In previous lecture, we discussed about soft tissue tumors and we covered fibrous tissue tumors that is fibrosis and fibrosarcoma, then fat tumors, lipoma and liposarcoma. And then fibrohistiocytic tumors, that is benign fibrous histiocytoma, dermatofibrosarcoma, pubrans, and fibrous, pregnant fibrous histiocytoma. So we continue with the soft tissue tumors, and today we will go on to skeletal muscle tumors. So one is benign, that is rhabdomyoma. And other is malignant, that is rhabdomyosarcoma. So skeletal muscle differentiation. Two tumors benign is rhabdomyoma and malignant is rhabdomyosarcoma. Adult rhabdomyoma. So there are benign skeletal muscle fibers. And uh, you know. Rhabdomyoma may also occur in heart as there are skeletal striated muscles. So rhabdomyosarcoma, they are of different types. Uh, one is embryonic, another is alveolar, and another is pleomorphic. And embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma is often seen in childhood in the head and neck region or genitals urinary tract and other rare varieties they are seen in extremities there are rhabdomyoblast like cells tadpole like or strap cells and on immunohistochemistry these tumors they are positive for desmin myod1 and myogeny Treatment is surgery and chemotherapy with or without radiation therapy. So this is the microscopy of a pleomorphic rhabdomyosarcoma. So there are sheets of large cells and you can see also tadpole-like cells. That is, strap cells, dignant cells with large nuclei and moderate to abundant pink cytoplasm with nucleus prominence of nucleoli, rhabdomyosarcoma. In embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma, you will see small round cells. Sheets of uh, small round cells like uh, lymphoma cells, but they are uh, rhabdomyoblasts. And the sites of embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma, they are seen in the head and neck region and genitourinary system. In the urinary bladder, they are often seen beneath the mucosa of urinary bladder and the, these cells they form a cambium layer of uh, immature cells, small round cells and in the genital area in, they are often seen in infant cells like they are, are grape like uh, soft tissue masses coming out of the genital area. Sarcoma botrytis, we call them as sarcoma botrytis, embryonic rhabdomyosarcoma. sarcoma, when they form um, grape like soft tissue masses on grass appearance. And in the alveolar type, embryonic alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma, sarcoma, you can see small alveolar spaces which are lined by lignant cells with hyperchromatic, neomorphic nuclei. So 
this is that view under left of my SR code. So then a smooth muscle, benign tumor, no is leomyoma. And malignant is leomyosarcoma. You have studied the leomyoma and, and leomyosarcoma in the system of uh, female genital tract, that is uterine tumors. Leomyomas, they are often called as fibroids. And the most common site of leomyoma is the uterus. Although sometimes they may be seen in other sites. And leomyosarcoma is also commonly seen in the uterine wall, that is myometry. Although they can occur in the vessel walls or GIT as well, when, whenever they, wherever there is smooth muscle cells, these cells, the tumors, they may arise. That is leomyoma and leomyosarcoma. So this is the microscopic appearance of leomyoma. You see the spindle-shaped cells in raised in fascicles. So there are no abnormal mitosis or leomorphism and coagulative necrosis. And these three factors, that is nuclear leomorphism, number of mitosis and areas of coagulative necrosis. They are used to differentiate between leomyoma and leomyosarcoma. So leomyosarcoma, they are often seen in adults. Skin and deep soft tissues of the extremities and retroperitone. And they are composed of malignant spindle cells with cigar-shaped nuclei, raised in interweaving fascicles. And if we perform immunostains, that is immunohistochemistry, these are positive for smooth muscle actin and desmin. So this figure shows leomyosarcoma. There are fascicles of uh, spindle-shaped cells. And some may be multinucleated, abnormal mitosis. Here we don't appreciate coagulative necrosis. So this is leomyosarcoma. Then vascular tumors. Hemangioma, lymphangioma, these are benign ones. Mangioendothelioma and uh, mangioparasitoma and angiosarcoma, they are malignant ones. Benign ones you have covered in vascular tumors of the blood vessels. And then peripheral nerve. Benign tumors, neurofibroma, schwannoma, and granular cell tumor, and malignant is malignant schwannoma, malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumor. So you will be taught in details when CNS and peripheral nerve system study. So then there are certain tumors whose region is not very clearly known. And among this group, synovial sarcoma is commoner as compared to other ones, that is alveolar soft part sarcoma and epithelial sarcoma. So we, just a few words about synovial sarcoma. Most of the patients, they are between 20 to 40 years of age, and they are situated in the deep soft tissues, especially lower extremity around the knee joint and thigh. And synovial sarcoma may be biphasic or monophasic. And that is, if they are composed of spindle-shaped cells and 
pseudo gland formations then we can biphasic and if there are only spindle shaped cells that is monophasic so there are dual lines of differentiation and there is translocation of a chromosome x to 18 and on microscopy there are epithelial components then glands and often there are solid areas composed of spindle shaped cells and if we perform special immunomarkers they are positive for keratin and epithelial membrane antigen EMA and <coughs> surgery and <coughs> cytotoxic chemotherapy they are the treatment and they often metastasize to the lungs synovial sarcomas so you can see that this is land like structure and these are the spindle shaped cells pleomorphic spindle shaped cells synovial sarcoma so it is biphasic Sometimes we don't see glands and that we label as <coughs> monophasia. So that is about the soft tissue tumors.